a little bit of advice. I've heard uh, Owen Salas came up with get your strategies together and well since my strategy is eat less and move more which is my mantra strategy mantra um, living thing I don't know whatever you want to call it what I decided was I needed to uh, look up how to eat less and I saw some other people were saying that that was kind of part of their strategies eat less so I found this thing is like good advice or tips for how to eat less. Now I'm going to run through these because some are pretty good and I'm going to implement them in my world. Um, the first one is to wait before you get seconds. Seconds. If you're eating a meal, wait like 10 minutes before you know you eat your meal, you eat your plate. Now how you can do that, you just carry on a conversation um, you know, with the person in front of you, whoever you're having dinner with. If you're by yourself, Grab a newspaper and make sure you read a couple of articles and then reevaluate are am I hungry enough to eat more? Because you know what it takes, and I learned this a while ago, and of course I don't live by it, but I'm going to, I'm going to. It takes a while for your stomach to register I'm full, tell the brain I'm full, tell the brain to stop eating. And if you pay attention to that signal, which typically overweight people, we have a problem with that whether it's genetic or what you just don't get the signal you don't get it fast enough or you just I've gotten so good at ignoring it that you don't even know it's there um, now this I don't want to deviate too far from my list but something that I learned I want to pass on um, if you notice if you really pay attention you're eating something that tastes really good and it's satisfying and you're like wow this is awesome the taste is great when you get to the point where you're full the taste actually changes it doesn't taste as good it's just kind of tastes this you know if you pay attention to it you'll notice hey that didn't doesn't that kind of stopped tasting as good as it did the first few bites well that's because that's the way your body's trying to tell you well you're done you've had enough you don't need to keep eating it so it doesn't enjoy whatever you're putting what you're doing anymore it's interesting for me that's I've found it works I've noticed I'll be eating something I'm halfway through a burrito and the burritos tasted real good up until halfway through it I'm like you know I'm full I'm done just that bite didn't taste as good it didn't seem as exciting as the first few bites so it's time to stop it seems to be working anyways quit cleaning the plate oh that goes right into what I was just talking about stop cleaning the why our parents made us do that is beyond me we don't need to clean our plates you, you don't you eat till you're full and you stop. If you're full and you got half a plate there, done with it. Wasted food. So don't don't clean your plate. Number three. Oh, don't ever eat out of the bag, the box, the carton, whatever it comes in. Don't eat out of it. Um, because if you get, and, and I can attest to this, if you sit down with a bag of chips, you're going to sit there, especially in front of the TV. You decide, oh, I'm going to have a, you know, a snack. Hey, come back here. So you sit down in front of the TV to have that snack. Oh, dang it. And you're munching on that bag of chips. Well, you know what? You stop, again, you stop paying attention to your body, and you're doing it just as, as something to do, especially me as a smoker. I'm popping those chips in my mouth just to have something to munch on. Well, I'm not paying attention to the fact that my body's telling me, hey, man, you're full. You're done. I don't. I don't care. I'm, I got the whole bag here. It seems like there's a never-ending supply. You just keep popping them in. You take a couple hand, a handful of chips or whatever it is, put it on a plate, put the bag away, then go sit down. You'll find that when you're done with that plate of snack, whatever it may be, you're not hungry anymore, and you've only eaten a handful of whatever the snack is. So that's a very good thing. Oh, so if you want to have big portions, oh wait, this is number four. If you want to have big portions, if you like seeing a big plate of food, then when you go to get your meal, some families, you know, you've got all your whatever, it depends on who cooks your meals and how your meals are prepared, but you have all your food laid out for you, you know, um, like the way I do it is if I'm cooking a bunch of things, put a bowl of this out there, a bowl of that out there, and my pieces of whatever the main dish is, the, you know, the, it's separated all out for everybody to have at. Well, if you go there and you, you if say it's lasagna is the, the meal, 
and you look at this big chunk of lasagna and you're like, wow, okay, I need two pieces of lasagna because I'm really hungry and you're filling your plate up with the main meal, which is also the most calories. And then you get to the side salad and you just put a little bit on your plate. Well, reverse that. Go get the side dishes first, the vegetables, the salads, all the side stuff. Get that first, fill your plate up with that. Then you look at your plate, you got a ton of food. And then it's like, well, I can only have, you know, a half a thing of lasagna. So if you really need to have a big plate with big portions on it so that you think you're eating more, fill it up with the side veggies and the salads and stuff first, then put your stuff on it. It'll, it'll change the way you're eating. Use number five, use a salad plate or a smaller plate instead of the main big plate that you use. The a smaller plate, you can't put as much food on it. And again, the whole idea is keeping your portion small so that when you're eating, before you get up and get more or you eat too much, you get that moment to say, am I really still hungry? So make that your default. Always order the small whatever. Whatever the smallest portion size you can get because that's probably the better portion size, especially for us. Uh, number seven, oh well, this falls in the same category. Buy single serve items. Yeah, when you're counting calories and stuff and deciding what you're going to, uh, how many calories something, be sure you check the number of servings. If you get a little small bag of chips, you gotta pay attention to the fact that that small bag of chips is a lot of times the servings uh, calculations is it'll say like number of servings it'll say 140 calories per serving I'll tell you that and then it says number of servings per bag 15 huh but you don't know that you're thinking well this one bag of chips is is one serving well it's not so make sure you pay attention to the number of servings when you're looking at food items to decide how much you should eat make sure you look at the number of servings in that box or package because that's important Oh, oh yeah. Uh, one thing you can do, like I'm gonna try to do tonight, I'm gonna cook a bunch of chicken and I wanna bring some to work tomorrow. Yeah. Well, one thing you need to do is put your leftovers away immediately. Um, slow down while eating, number 10. Slow down, you don't need to eat as fast as I do because it's ridiculous. So slow down, take your time, chew your bites. Remember, it takes a while for your stomach to say to your brain, Hey, we're good. I'm full, whatever. So, slow down. All right, I'm picking up the kid. Bye.